So glad you're here this month. Yeah. It's been a long one, huh? I know, the holidays are tough. <laughs> well, you get to just relax now. Okay? So, you wanted something a little bit different this month, correct? Okay. So we're going to do a yin-yang uh, massage which just kind of balances your energy because we're doing a relaxation version. You can do one version that kind of invigorates, um, but in this one we're just going to relax you, okay? So it'll just be a little bit different than the usual massage, but it should be nice and relaxing and let your muscles fully go, okay? All right, are you ready? I have some nice body oil today. It's, um, it's got a lot of really nice scents in it, so it's got some uh, calendula, it's got chamomile, uh, it's it really, here, it's got some citrus smells, let me have you smell it and see if you like it. There you go. You like it? Okay. And you're not allergic to any scents or anything, right? Okay, great. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little my hand and I'm just going to start off coming a little bit closer if that's okay and I'm just going to hold your head yeah you're going to we're going to have you stay laying face up at first okay and just holding your head for a few minutes just allowing your body to relax. Feel my energies. Take a few deep breaths with me. Very good. Okay, now I'm just going to lightly massage your face. Just with the front of my palm going over your cheeks, out to your ears, just all around your face, just gently. That feel good. Relax and calm. <sighs> Keep taking deep breaths with me, okay? Alright. Now I'm going to take the backs of my hands and I'm just going to knead front of your chest with the backs of my hands. And the front of your shoulders. And then down fronts of either arm. Again. using the back of my hands on your forearms on the front of your arms on either side again I'm going to be using the backs of my hands on the front of your body and that's part of what makes this relaxing for yin yang Now working on the backs of your arms, I'm going to use my palms. So the front of my arms and the back of your arms. Again, you want the opposite energy from my body to touch the opposite energy of your body. So the back of your body is yang 
to the front of your body. The front of my body is yin. And we'll just be nice and relaxing. I'm using my, the back of my hands, my fists and knuckles on your palm, and my hands on the back of your hands. Okay, same, same thing on the other side. Just using my palms on the back of your arm. on your palms and my palms on the back of your hands. Okay. Now I'm just going to move the sheet a little bit and I'm going to massage your stomach. I'm going to keep your chest covered. Okay. So you're fully covered. Okay. So just massaging over your stomach using the back of my hand. Just vibrating a little bit motion. Okay. Now I'm going to move down to your legs. I'm going to use my, the back of my hands, um, on when I have you flip over. So now I'm going to use just a little bit of palm effleurage on the front and lateral thigh. Uh, that's the outer thigh, sorry. And the inside of the thigh. Um, and then I'm going to work down to your calves, okay? So, if you want to, Close your eyes and just picture yourself seated on a bench in a beautiful forest. Hear the sounds of the leaves rustling in the wind. <sighs> What do you smell? Do you hear the noise of animals? Soon you hear the sound of someone joining you. see them yet, but you have a feeling of comfort hearing them coming towards you. A little bit more oil. Okay. And the sound gets closer and closer. And soon you see someone coming through the woods towards you. This person looks very happy to see you. This person comes and sits next to you. And you know they are one of your spirit guides here help you relax and give you guidance. It could be an ancestor. It could be a god or an angel or someone you have never seen before. You can ask their name if you don't know.
ask them what they're there to tell you. They may answer in thought or in feelings or in pictures. They may write something in the dirt at your feet or they may give you an item. Take whatever response they give you. Although it may not make sense right now, the meaning should come to you with time. <sighs> Thank your guide for their time today. Know that you can visit your guide here anytime you want. You can ask any kind of question and they are here to help guide you and help you understand some of the things you may know, but can't quite feel. It is sometimes hard to tap into all of the parts of our brain that have wisdom, and our guides help us to do that. As your guide walks off towards the woods, you feel a beautiful feeling of peace and calm. And I want you to stay in this state for the rest of the massage. As I massage right the center of your chest to the back of my hand, maintaining your privacy, keeping the sheet covering your chest, just light strokes with the back of the hand for a few seconds on your sternum, okay? Okay. And now I'm going to have you flip over. Okay. And slide down so you're facing the face cream. Close your eyes for the rest of the massage, you may, and just drift off into peace and comfort. And I'm going to work here on your feet, just massaging with the backs of my hands on the bottom of your feet. working with the backs of my hands up your leg. Up your calf. And the back of your thigh into the bottom of your glutes. You doing okay? Good. Okay, moving over to the other side. Again, working on your feet on the bottom. With the bottoms of my, with the backs of my hands. Just rolling up and down the foot. And then up your calf. Being careful not to put pressure on the back of your knee. And then up your thigh. Working into your glutes with the backs of my hands. Our glutes are often very tight from sitting. And many of us do a lot of walking that uses our glutes. Many times when we think we have low back problems, it's actually glute problems. All right. Are you feeling okay? Good. Okay. Now I'm going to work along your back. 
just starting off rubbing all over your back. It's called effleurage. It's just a gentle covering of the back to warm up the muscles. Up and down, back and forth, covering the back with oil. I'm gonna get a little bit more oil here as I work a little bit deeper into your back. And just covering all of your back with this oil. Just let it all go. Know you are cared for by me and your guides and the universe. And now doing a little petrosage, which is a little bit more grasping motion. So working a little bit deeper into the muscle. tight shoulders. You must be pulling your shoulders up to your ears. A lot of us do that when we're stressed. Okay, now using my four fingers to do some friction on your shoulder area where your muscles are very tight, okay? Does that feel good? The pressure's not too much. moving back and forth across the skin, not going too deep. Okay. Okay, and now using my four fingers, I'm actually going to stay in the same area of the skin and just kind of move it very small, um, little vibrations on those really tight muscles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can feel that releasing. That's great. Does that feel better? Good. Yeah. Sometimes, and it's very gratifying for me as a massage therapist, I can feel a tight muscle just go pop. <laughs> and I know I've done my job, but I feel that m more often they release more gradually. But sometimes you just hit the right spot or do just the right thing to make that muscle go, oh, okay, I can let go now. And that always makes me feel good. Yeah, both of your shoulders feel much, much better. Good. You're letting yourself relax. And if you can let your body relax, your mind will go with it. Okay. So now we're going to do something that we do in yin-yang massage that we don't do in most other types of massage. So I'm going to pass my hand along your spine from your low back up to your neck uh, really just rubbing the skin not applying any pressure it's just to give the energy from my palm uh, to the energy of your spine not to massage the muscles or trying to move the bones okay all right so just seven times up from the bottom up to your neck up from your low back to your neck. Up from your low back to your neck. From your low back all the way up to your neck. From your low back all the way up to your neck. From your low back all the way up your spine to the back of your neck. It's kind of comforting. Yeah, it's sort of like what a mom does when she's rubbing your back and cups the back of your neck. Now I'm going to just take my hands and just touch the back of your head and just give that energy to the back of your head without moving, no massage. Just touching the back of your head. Kind of like I do with Reiki. So 
so just exchanging energy to help relax you and I hope the massage and the meditation has allowed you to relax and calm your mind and your body just one more deep breath And now, since we did a meditation, I want to ground you a little bit. So I want you to feel your energy going down into the earth. Any extra energy you may have. Any residual anxiety or worries. Just feel it leave your body and trickle down like rain onto the earth, Mother Earth. Can handle it and for her it's like compost <laughs> may feel like garbage to you but to her it's nourishing and all energy is good for Mother Earth so let that energy rain down and I want you to begin to hear the sounds around you feel where you are sitting or laying Wiggle your fingers and toes. Feel yourself on the massage table. And when you're ready, open your eyes. You can take your time getting up off the table. I want you to be nice and relaxed. And when you're ready, just open that door. And I'll be waiting outside with some water. Unless you'd like some tea. A chamomile tea. So it'll just take me a couple of minutes, uh, but I already have hot water out there, so it shouldn't be long. And I'll meet you in the relaxation room, okay? I'm so glad you're feeling better. Alright, see you in a minute.